A superhero from the DC Comics universe is about to make a big screen debut and audiences are buzzing both about what to expect and about a Latino representation like never before. Let's take a look. You went in to get a job and all you brought back was a hamburger. Okay, I don't think it's a burger. You haven't looked? What the hell is that? How did you get it to do that? I think he likes me. Hey, man. What? That looks so cool. <laughs> Blue Beetle follows the story of Jaime Reyes and how he's chosen to take on the powers of the historic and coveted Scarab. Director Angel Manuel Soto joins us now with more. Welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here. So this character has been around since 1939. In the yeah. last 80 years, there have been a lot of changes. Talk to us about how you uh, really created your vision from the comic book pages to what moviegoers can see on the big screen. Yeah, you know, like the, the first one, happened in 1939 was with this archaeologist called Dan Garrett. Then around the 80s with Ted Kord, uh -huh. a billionaire. And then in, in 2006, that was the first time that Jaime Reyes was introduced into uh -huh. the comics. And there's been like many versions of the comics, uh, like different uh, series and different uh, leagues and, and different uh, points of views to his origin story. But what we did was, we, alongside with the writer, Gareth Dunet Alcocer, uh, he's from Mexico, Querétaro. Um, we kind of like went to all the comics and we shows like the greatest hits. You know, Blue Beetle also has participation in some of the animations like Brave and the Bold or uh, Young, Young Justice or even a video game, Injustice 2. So we're like, how can we take the greatest hits from all of these appearances mm. and create a unique cinematic experiences for the fans out there? This is the first Latino superhero in the DC Comics universe. What took so long? <laughs> <laughs> that is the question, right? Um, I'm just happy that, you know, while it took too long, uh, I'm happy to have this privilege to have worked with amazing Latino talent as well in front and behind the cameras to be able to bring this to life and hopefully open the doors for more stories to happen. Maybe we don't have to wait uh, so long anymore to keep uh, watching our stories being told by our people. You really do a good job of having the Latino culture and at the same time telling a universal story. How difficult of a dance was it to get that right balance? Um, well, not difficult. Like, um, you know, we don't, it's hard for me to hide who I am and it's hard for us to hide who we are. And the fact that the writer who's Mexican, me and Puerto Rican, the costume designer, Mayas Rubio, uh, nominated for an Academy Award. Uh, she is also Latina uh, from Guadalajara. And all of the members, all of the cast, they are Latinos for the exception of Susan, but she, we adopted her as well. She's a great ally. Uh, we were all Latinos, so it was very difficult for us to push anything. We, we, we finally were able to be ourselves freely without any judgment, without any social construct, without anybody telling us how much Latino can we be? We actually went in, we were ourselves authentically, we told our experiences, not just from the page, but from the characters themselves, that they brought it to the page and to the screen. And through that whole experience, we were able to be Latino. So you have people that happen to be Latino being heroes for once, you know? So that was a beautiful thing to see. What do you think about what's going on in Hollywood and how do you see this finally ending? I mean, this finally ends when greed stops being the motive and art starts taking the center stage. I think that what the actors and the writers are asking for is not ridiculous at all. And I think it's about time that something changes because the world has changed. So all these other elements happen and good things have happened after strikes. I support the strike 100%. I support my actors 100%. And uh, of course, I want it to end. <laughs> we want to get to work again. We want to be able to, I wish I could have my actors here with me right. because this is their movie. Like, yes, I, I was there to help them get there. But at the end of the day, they are front and center. They gave their heart and souls. 
but at least you have their faces. But right I have your them heart. with me, so they are, with they are not here. <laughs> <laughs> they're not here, but they're here with yes. me. This is my beautiful cast, <laughs> the Reyes family. The best way to love them is to support them. Yes. Going on theaters, August 18. <laughs> Angel Manuel Soto, we thank you so much for being thank here. You. We want to let our viewers know that Blue Beetle is in theaters, as you just said, August 18th. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.